with the germs for a few minutes before going in to get our seats. People filed into the small theater quickly and the show promptly got underway. The germs went on first. I was excited for them because I knew it was their first show and I didn't believe what they said about not knowing how to play. Well, I didn't believe them until they started playing. <laughs> Suddenly, the drummer, Don Aria, started banging on the drums with all the skill and enthusiasm of a toddler behind a drum set. Lorna Doom couldn't stop giggling, but gamely tried to play along, alternately looking at Donna and Guitar for cues. Guitar, who later told me his real name was Pat Smear, played a noisy guitar with plenty of feedback. He swung his guitar around as he played. He looked at the other members, making eye contact and nodding his head to signal the changes. He seemed to be the musical director. At the front of the stage, Bobby Pin uttered cacophonous sounds and began emptying the market bags of their contents. The most memorable use of those props was when Bobby smeared peanut butter and mayonnaise on himself. I'd noticed earlier that there had been a loaf of bread in the bag, and I wondered if we'd all be treated to a Bobby sandwich. <laughs> but I never had a chance to find out, because just a few minutes into their set, the germs literally had the plug pulled on them. They had put on a horribly wonderful show. The audience booed, cheered, whistled, and clapped. 